Sue. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the H3 Podcast, <clears throat> the only show where the host has a perfect, well, really a more than perfect score on Wiki Feet. And so I think that makes this show very special and worth watching. Mm. It definitely affects the show, knowing that you have a good rating. Number one. On your feet. I is yeah. the only show with a number one wiki feet. And just, host. yeah, it just makes the content better. I think so. Thank you. Um, we've got a lot to talk about today. We are avoiding drama because it has been so much drama. I hear you guys. I know what you're saying. Good luck, Ethan. Thank you, Keemstar. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Today we are look, going to be exploring the Pokemon card craze. Ian prepared a presentation for us, which we all love. We all get very excited when Ian presents for us. So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Ian, do you want to explain why your room is turning into a jungle? <laughs> People were wondering that. I, I don't know. It's getting out of control. It's I, I found a board game and I, you know, I shouldn't have played it. A board oh, game. like you? Are you making a Jumanji reference? Oh. I just uh, I got to roll five. <laughs> why or eight you, why does I... it look like you're <laughs> jerking? Like, what are you doing with your hand, dude? Oh, okay, <laughs> I, what, did you do that on purpose to mess with me or what? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you were stroking it, bro. Dude. I'm 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 stroking pussy down here. Oh, oh my, my god! god. You can't say that. <laughs> How dare you say that on our oh show? Oh my god! Um, do you want us to yeah, call no, you I'm... Mowgli? I was just saying, I got to roll a five or an eight. I haven't rolled it yet. So the r- room's going to progressively get worse. Also, I'm, re- I'm really curious about your green carpet because I've never seen green carpet before. Can you show that? I don't think people have seen that. Uh, let me. Yeah, Ian got, he even it? put in green. It's grass. Lawn. It's grass, it's not a little, just green it's carpet. A, oh, it's actually grass? Yeah. <laughs> it's grass. It's jungle, baby. <laughs> or it's uh, AstroTurf? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. The big, you, big I thought difference. it was wait. I thought it was like a green rug. You're yeah, asked to put yeah. astroturf in. Nah, son. Right, you got it. It's, it's a jungle. Not kidding. <laughs> he was excited. I am. Excited. I don't know how Sam, Sam is down think. with that. What does your girlfriend think about all this? <laughs> Sam. Sam actually called me out because I came home with this thing here, and she's like, <laughs> zebras don't live in the fucking jungle. Right. They're not. They're like highland creatures, right? Savannah. Savannah. But, uh, you know, there are zebras. I still Jamaica, have my so. gift to give you. I just wonder if we can do it on the show somehow. What gift? For his jungle room. I have a oh, gift right, right, right. It's really good. Yeah. Well, we just got to remember so next time you come over to drop something off. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll remind you. <laughs> well, so anyway, Ian has a presentation for us about Pokemon cards. I'm really excited. In fact, um, you guys are going to be super stoked to hear... We got in on the craze ourselves, and Ian was able to procure two boxes, like the original boxes. Um, I don't know how you did that. I mean, we, we spent like hundred thousand or something on it. Wow! I think we don't, right? need, we don't need to get in the exact numbers, but well, it's my well, fucking let's money. Wait, I'd like let's to know wait how much for the segment. Well, I'm just trying to get people hyped. I don't want them to <laughs> click away when it gets. You know what I mean? I want them to stay tuned. So we're going to unbox that. We actually have like a whole unboxing rig. So, <laughs> you know, do we have gloves? I don't want to touch these things with my bare oh, hands. Oh, good point. We'll, we'll, we'll get some. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to get, we'll some, get some gloves. gloves. All right. Anyway, super excited. Um, oh, another thing I don't want to forget. There's a new Teddy Fresh collection on teddyfresh.com by yours truly, Eel Klein, fashion icon, legendary designer, right here to my right. Mm-mm. This is part That's of that collection. I- Hello. You like that old gothic? It's like a applique yeah. felt patch come on forget about it don't oh, just go to teddyfresh.com what up and then come back here Peeps. what do you think about my haircut i got a haircut too i feel like you finally uh, made my week doing getting a haircut really because i always beg you to get a haircut and then you always just you grow it out and then you just shave it all off but you always tell me you don't care but now it makes it no, sound like you I... don't like the buzzing no, I like Daddy. your hair, and Daddy. I always feel bad when you completely shave it off. Hmm. I think the haircut looks good. It just makes me look so fat. I think That's the hair, it. I wish if I could transplant really my doesn't. hair onto someone else's head more handsome, then I'd be happy with the haircut. Daddy. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I can tell you it does not make you look fat. But on my face, it doesn't, I don't know that I like it, but I like the haircut itself. No. So props, props. So shout out to her family who cut my hair. You look very handsome. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. I would expect you to say that, though. 
Okay, we so we have some free Britney updates. Cool. And I promised you guys I was going to follow this story. I am not going to let this go. I am free Britney all the way. Leave Britney alone. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> but, you know, so people are looking into all this, like, Britney Spears era misogyny. Mm-hmm. And there's a video that's adjacently related that I want to watch first of David Letterman in 2013 interviewing Lindsay Lohan. Which is really bizarre. Just yeah. gives like kind of the same energy, right? So here it is. Let's let's watch this and comment. This is 2013. I don't think anybody cared about this interview at the time, right? The thing about Lindsay Lohan, like Britney Spears, she was like <laughs> just a popular media punching bag for everybody. And um, but now looking back on those behaviors, it seems so wrong to do that it's hard to watch because you're like yeah. wow this is yeah you're like this is so obviously wrong uh i just feel bad for her frankly but here it is yeah now uh, aren't you supposed to aren't you supposed to be in rehab now <laughs> Do you not watch anything that goes on i do tabloid now? Now, now here's what May i second i was under Can you give me a little volume dan thank you may 2nd yes and how long will you be in rehab uh three months how many times have you been in rehab? Stop! Several. And what, what, how will this time be different? What are they rehabbing, first of all? What, what is on oh. their list? What, what are they gonna work on when you walk through the door? We didn't discuss in the, this in the pre-interview. No. So, she's, yeah, they do, pre, I don't know if you know this, but on talk shows they do pre-interviews. Where they're like, oh, this is interesting. That's not interesting. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they have this whole pre-interview. So they like prepare something to talk about. So, so they just no come, out be like, yeah, <laughs> come out and be awkward. And so it's a little unethical, first of all, to switch it up on her like this. Mm -hmm. but the other thing is that. Well, it keeps going in on it. I think Dave, Dave's thing, because like, listen, I like Dave Letterman. I think his thing during the late night show was always like. I'm going to ask people what they everyone really wants to talk about. Because in the news, it's all about rehab. And he's like, oh, all these questions are dumb. I just want to know about her rehab. But, like, obviously the way he asks is is not that good. But, but it'll be <laughs> three months good. and... and you no, I think, I think, to be honest, I'm, I'm the happiest when I'm working and the healthiest. And I think this is an opportunity for me to, you know, focus on what I love in life. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a blessing and... Do, do, do you have addiction problems? What did you say? Bruh. Do you have addiction problems? She's going to rehab, dumb <laughs> fuck. Wait, you can tell? Listen to the clapping. This is like right out of the break. Oh, right. Do you have addiction problems? Bro, obviously. Like, that's what kind of question is that? Yeah. Bruh. Look at his face, too. He's going like... <laughs> you have addiction problems? I like Dave, you know. Maybe it's more of a statement on the time than I anything. Do. I feel like it is every <laughs> like it's a combination of everything. It shows what it seems like these things were kind of like more normal at that time, but it shows how awful it must have been, especially for the the females. This is a bad question, though. Do you have addiction problems? It's like, what the fuck are you talking? Do you? Now you sound like Doctor Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is, right. Is it now like good. alcohol? This drink? is a late night show, not Dr. Phil, yeah. dumbass. Much? Yeah. We've discussed this in the past. Who did we really? When did we discuss well, because it? Because I'm the one who's having the blackouts. What is, exactly. what is that? <laughs> I'm just saying. I ought to be in rehab for the love of God. Oh, so now, um, uh, when, when you when you go to the rehab, what do they well, do? Well, let's let's. This is we have to work here for a movie. We have to what? Let's stay on the positive. Oh, what? Like, aside oh, you, from you know what's messed up that she's here for a movie because she's because when you agree to do a film, they include in your contract that you have to do press. Yeah, and so she's here probably against her will to begin with but also she if she's trying to promote a movie is messing up her career it's like they're not gonna be happy with this yeah it's fucked up it is fucked up that side of the positive yeah all right <laughs> i have a list here of things that ha you've you've endured you, can i run down a few things oh, can I the first? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you can read them or not read them okay hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Up here, the I thought you were going to be nice. These are, these are the appetizers up here. These are the main courses. There's your desserts down at the bottom. Those are the jokes. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Are you okay now? It feels like people should be helping you. Do you have money saved? Therapy? Money Ask saved? Ask yourself, yeah. why always in trouble? <laughs> you can't make a joke of it. I just want to, I just, That's so I, mean. I, I, I don't, I'm not joking. No, you're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> One or two? No, this is my show now. <laughs> So, he's, uh, well, she's stop. a really good sport yeah. about She's yeah. doing such a good job, but look, she ends up crying. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh, she's tearing up a little bit. God bless you. <laughs> I love there you, too. you go. Oh, why is he? Wait. That's so fucked up. <laughs> the stop. way he, like, yeah. patronizes her at the end. Oh, God so, bless you. The oh, little, look, the old tearing. lady. Yeah. Oh, women. Yeah. Women's are so Bruh. emotional. Again, like, I hate to go to this card, but, like, if all so many Hollywood dudes are such fucking shit shows, and he doesn't get he doesn't grill them like this, mm -hmm. I don't think. I, what do I know? Maybe he does. What do I? I'm not David Letterman expert. But I'll tell you this about Britney. The the Britney uh, uh, conservatorship, they gotta like streamline that word. <laughs> Conservatorship. Just for you. <laughs> I just feel like they need to streamline it a little bit. Does anyone else have a problem with the word? It just feels a little. Then can you say rough. it? Conservatorship. Oh, I fucked it up. See? Conservatorship. I just straight, Jack. <laughs> but my point about, okay, so the Britney Spears thing, dude, Kanye West is as big a fuck up as Britney Spears. You don't see anyone's coming in and taking over his fucking money. Yeah. Or Martin Sheen or Gary or, or what's the Tiger Blood guy? The Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. You don't see anyone coming in and taking Charlie Sheen's fucking estate or Gary Busey's estate. I don't think it would happen to a man. I agree. Kanye West is way, is just as fucked up, if probably more fucked up than Britney Spears. Ian, would you like to be his conservator? <laughs> no, I. I don't want to be anybody's conservator. Good for you. That's the mm. right answer. <laughs> Love me, daddy. Love me, daddy. Zedzi. Mm. Do you want to be a conservator of the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> I just like trying to say the word conservator. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Answer the question. <laughs> Do you want to conserve the jungle? Conserve, preserve. The jungle is forever. Thank you. <laughs> mm. That's Ian right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's the sound of Ian's room. Do you have white noise machines like that? You should get. No, that's gonna. Something I'm gonna add. We're actually gonna put a fog machine in here too. Yeah, get, get like, some, some mist no, going. Not a fog yeah. machine. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> You we're should. gonna put like we're gonna hang like birds from the ceiling and put little like Amazon echoes in there and make them all like chirp and stuff. Maybe no. hang some ferns from the ceiling. Do you have any for actual plants in there or ferns? Not yet. We're we're building it piece by piece. Hmm. <laughs> Till it's gonna look like the tiki room in here. Interesting. Are you gonna be having any open flames in there like tiki torches or anything? I mean one one step at a time. Okay. Fair enough. Let's look up, you know. You gotta have goals, right? We gotta set you up like an actual live can to the Amazon rainforest or something instead of that instead of that shitty YouTube video behind you. Oh, a real live feed? Yeah, let's get him in the jungle for real. Yeah, that's temporary. <laughs> <clears throat> we can slowly watch the deforestation of the Amazon happen live. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing more inspiring. So there's updates on Free Britney. Mm -hmm. oh, apparently, David Lerman did another awkward one of Janice Jackson that I kind of wanted to watch. Oh, because she had this notorious right, like, what? What is the story? Do you guys remember what's the story? Her nipple came out during a Super Bowl live show, and Justin Timberlin was involved. Timberlake, Timberlake. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> she was doing a duet with uh, but Justin it's Janice. Timberlake. And Go it's, ahead, not, it's not Janice. I think it was Janice Jack, Janice Jack, Janice Jacqueline, and and Johnson Timber Timberland. Shut up! No, I <laughs> Such a dick, Ian. <laughs> Janet Jackson. What did I say? Janice. You Jackson? said Janice Jackson. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes well, they, they Janet. and Timberland. <laughs> right. I Timberland. fucked up both names. <laughs> Okay, you want the truth? The fu Michael Jackson's sister and the ramen-headed guy. That's how. That's the real truth to them. So what happened, uh, Dan? Well, they just they were doing a duet at the at the Super Bowl, and um, 
there was a <clears throat> at the a time they said a a wardrobe malfunction. Although mm. it, it was debated whether or not it was really that or if it was planned and just because of the backlash, they decided to play it off as a wardrobe. Well, why would they want to leak her nip? That doesn't seem like that well, interesting. Well, it wasn't. It was covered with a pasty. It, it was, her, oh, okay. her nipple was not exposed. Oh. They just pulled so back why, her dress why, a little bit. Why were people mad at Timberlake for that? Well, because he was the one who did it. Oh. He, so. he reached over, grabbed her dress and pulled it to reveal her breast. If you watch it though, it it was clearly part of the choreography. I mean, it was just, it was supposed to be like a sexy thing and, uh, you know, conservative America felt it was disgusting to show that on a television broadcast. So did they scapegoat uh, ramen head a little bit there? It sounds like, well, moreover, I don't think Justin got anywhere near the backlash that Janet. I was about to say, yeah, she didn't even reveal the nip. It was ramen. Well, this herein lies, uh, the issue here with her boob coming out <laughs> joey Thanks, salad joey. approved <laughs> he hasn't forgotten wait are we able to watch that or no i mean if it mm, i just i mean there isn't any nipple no. it just well let's watch it here send me the link i will watch it off okay right. off the uh, screen there but let's watch this interview Let's, uh, let's run through this now uh, tell us exactly why people uh, mad at her for fucking yeah. like it's not it's not her fault some weird. Let's see. Let's hear what the has to say about it. Happened from the time you got up on Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday to, to the time uh, the the episode took place during the halftime. <laughs> I, I I don't want to relive any of that. All right. I mean, you, I, you don't mind if I ask you some questions about it? Leave her alone. <laughs> First of all, she does. You, you knew but what was going to happen. But that's, Dave, that's Dave. He's like, I got. You're here. We're going to talk about this. This is what everyone wants to know. That's annoying. <clears throat> you didn't know it was going to happen. No, I didn't. You didn't know it was going to happen. No, I didn't. So it came as a complete surprise to you. <laughs> yes. The really? Yes. yes, yes. So, Garth so, is interested. Garth, why are you interested in this particular yeah, actually, conversation? I like that. He la- mm-hmm. Whoa, Garth Brooks, ladies and gentlemen, Garth Brooks. <laughs> Was not a stunt. No. It was not premeditated. No. It was nothing that you had rehearsed. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, so how how did it happen? What what exactly transpired? Dave, there? you're gonna make me relive this. I I, I want to put all that behind me. No, well, I truly not, do. well, not it me. Is be- <laughs> Just indulge me here and I'll make this pain. They look so uncomfortable. But the audience is kind of like encouraging it. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm giving the people what they want. Well, it's like she, in both cases, both of them are just kind of like trying to still stay kind of positive and laugh it off. But they're clearly uncomfortable. It's live. Right. So what are you going to do? You know what I mean? So they're trying to be like. But the thing is, if they are like, you know what? I didn't agree to this. I'm going to leave. Then it's like. They're so in the media, out. yeah. They're crazy, yeah, storms exactly. out. You we'll do it live. You guys should try to find if David Letterman's ever done this to a dude. I'm curious. Mm. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll look. I'm pretty sure he has. Okay, there you go. Just beca- Well, just because <laughs> David Letterman is kind of a dick. Like, that's sure. kind of his thing. Right, sure. <laughs> you know? I don't know what I've never watched those shows, so I don't know what his people he's liked a, him for being yeah, a dick. Pe- I mean, that was kind of part of his thing, exactly. Mm. But painless as possible. <laughs> uh, so, so it truly was a wardrobe malfunction. It was just a mistake. Just Is that, that what that happened? Way. You already it asked. Was, it like was truly times. an accident. It wasn't supposed to happen. Wasn't supposed to. Happen. What was supposed to happen? Oh God! God so nice. Can we talk about something else, please? I've had a day of interviews, and I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it. I know I am. Let's ask me about something else. They're booing her? Come on. You guys are vultures. Yeah, I'm not so sure they are sick of hearing about it. You guys are fucking vultures, bro. This whole thing is like a hyena, a pack of hyena. Yeah. Here's the way I look at life. <laughs> sometimes things are good. Sometimes things are bad. And when things are bad, it's always important to have someone to blame. <laughs> so, just a nip, bro. It was covered. I don't know. That's why I believe that it's this uh, Timberlake guy. Timberland. Timber. Timberland. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought his name was Timberland. Really? My whole life. No. 
My whole life, Timberland. Yeah, you're making it up. Justin Timberland. No way. You're confusing you're him with. with I know I'm wrong okay. now. I'm looking Come at it. I'm just me. saying. I don't care about Justin Timberlake or his fucking ramen head. Do you want to show your reference to the ramen head in case people don't know? Everybody knows what I'm talking about, right? Justin, really? Justin Timberlake. I know what you, because you showed me, hair. but I think we should show This it. is like, how do you outlive this, bro? He literally, his haircut was fucking ramen. He had literally top ramen hair. <laughs> Like, how do you outlive that? <laughs> how do you recover from that? Look at this. I feel like I could. Do you, I feel like I could achieve ramen hair. Like I feel like I have the right hair for it, possibly. Mm -hmm. You think I do? You look my hair is curly enough. Yeah, it's like what you have right now, but in yellow. If it was just bleached. Yeah. <clears throat> look at this one. That's straight up top ramen, my dudes. <laughs> I'm sorry, this guy is not cool. He looks like on his bar mitzvah day, he got all dressed up, but it's like, you're not a man. You're just 13. I know they said you're a man, but you're still only a kid. You're 13 years old. <clears throat> Would you, do you like Justin, uh, Ela? I was never really into the boy band stuff. Yeah, but would you fuck him? Mm, no. No, oh, you just not my, that to be nice. Not, not that I care. Have you not visited kinda... Blocked? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Ela. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I call him Ramen Head. <clears throat> this is e this is Ela's guy right here. Okay, wait, how about this? Jack? What? Who? Jack, have you seen Jack Nicholson Young? Did you fuck him? Hmm. Oh, he doesn't actually look that handsome. I mean, maybe he's kind of old already, though. He's sexy. He doesn't look that good, does he? Hold on, let me find you a really good... Harrison Ford Young, I'd fuck. <laughs> Harrison Ford Young was like... Yeah, I'd fuck him. Here, look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a cool guy. I feel like Jack Nicholson is kind of cool, too. I f remember him being more handsome. Jack Nicholson... Young, but he didn't look that good in that photo. Problem is, he's always been but old. I feel like. like you don't need to be that perfect looking, but you can have. He's got swag. A cool, cool factor, yeah. Of course, he's got swag. Come on, Daddy. Here, you want to see Jack Nicholson swag? Daddy. Have you seen Jack Nicholson eating a burger? Here, now that swag. No, stop it. That swag, Daddy, bro. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, stop it? No. Love me, Daddy. That's not a real photo. <laughs> yes, it is. Look <laughs> at him. <laughs> That's swag, bro. God damn it. What's got? What are you? What are you upset Daddy? about? I'm upset at fast food. Look what it does. He's at a ball, he's at a ball game. He's watching a ba uh, basketball game. You see what he's eating? That's the devil. The devil. The devil. Yeah, you're right. If there's a devil on earth, it's in it's in between <laughs> two fucking hamburger buns. <laughs> 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 It ain't the demons on the tubes. It's, it's in the ground a happy beef. Meal. Yeah, for sure it is. I'm gonna agree with you there. I love that photo of him. No, I don't. Apparently, Stop there's like all, people down. just. Stop apparently, it. he just gets down <laughs> front. <laughs> <laughs> people just <laughs> documenting it. It's awesome. He's, Wait, but it doesn't look like that today. <sighs> Did he lose all that? When no, I think he's just he's just love loving life in his old age. I don't think so. Bro, look at this guy. I felt like I saw him like... It's your boy Jack Nicholson, remember me? Is that his son? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. He's such a badass. <laughs> I mean, he's so old. Who gives He's like the coolest dude ever. Yeah. <laughs> God. He's still got the tinted glasses and everything. It's awesome. Who is in... Uh... Oh, yeah. Let's oh, go. No. Let's <laughs> Go, Jack! Now no, he's a, dude, they're no. getting the worst photos of him at no. this ball game. This needs to be deleted. So he's front court, and his <laughs> stomach is hanging out the bottom of his shirt. No, that's not him. It's a double. Daddy, dude, he's like eighty. What do you? Why are you giving him a hard time? What's his age? Current photos. You really fighting me on this? He's like eighty years old. What's his age, anybody? Here, I was more thinking more like that. 
See, that's he's younger than those. He looks old here. No, he's older here, bro. Oh, damn. You just can't give up on Jack. You still want to fuck him so bad. Look, look, here's your I don't boy, like Jack. When... <sighs> just let it happen, Hila. I don't want to. <laughs> he's just an old man. He's living his life. Can you show the picture I sent you on yeah. Discord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How old is he? Can somebody tell me? He's 83. Thank you. That's really old. This is like probably 65. Mm. You know what I mean? Got it. Why does he always got to have orange tint? Like, is that just how he wants to see the world? You think he's still Fox? Yeah. He could. Yeah, he does. You think so? Oh, dude. Would you I still think he, he probably, I mean, look at Zach. Zach would go for it. You think Zach would? He probably has so many, like, <clears throat> girls that would just die for him. Even today. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty cool today, even. I remember, I remember he was in a rom-com that I saw that I liked when he was, like, fucking 70. And <laughs> he was in a rom-com. It was about old people dating, though, so. Or, well, he was, he kept fucking all these young girls, and then he fell in love with one of the moms. That was the plot. Oh. As good as it gets, I think. Is what yeah, as good called. as it gets. That was a good movie. <laughs> I like that movie. You know? <laughs> okay, here's here's my pick for Dude, I'd Fuck. Um... Paul, I think we already talked about Paul Newman Young. Yeah, we've talked about it. Paul Newman Young is the most handsome guy. No. Look at this. Is he in, um, he's in a Westworld, right? Or am I getting it? Paul Newman? No. Jack Nicholson? Or no. Okay. So what are you talking oh, about? So I'm mixing him up. I'm thinking of Anthony Hopkins. Oh, oh Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Okay. I don't think he was ever handsome, but he's always been Anthony. Okay. He's on TikTok, bro. He's doing dances what? on TikTok. Yeah. He's got a pop in TikTok account, <laughs> Anthony. I swear to God, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins Young. Oh, man. Yeah, he was never like a hunk, but. He's kind of a cool old guy. Yeah, for sure. I feel like he's. Here, y'all want to see Anthony Hopkins TikTok? I swear to no. God. Daddy. Daddy. Ugh. It's popping. Anthony Hopkins TikTok. <clears throat> Here, let me find some of the original shit. This one has a million views. Let's see what is this. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Well, oh, well New Year is coming. It's been a tough year, full of grief and sadness. For well, you can many, do a many, wide many screen people. on TikTok. But Just 45 years ago today, no, a wide. I had a wake-up oh. call. I was heading for disaster. I was drinking myself. Boring. Okay, well that's, that's not. No, he does dancing, dancing videos, no. dude. I liked it on Discord. Oh, you sent me a dancing one. Here's one with three million. What is this? <laughs> Thoughts, Hila? That's kind of funny. <laughs> he still got it, folks. <laughs> Two million. Hey. Just had a thought. These coming days are going to be the best of days. Boring. Chicken in his eye? No, dude, it's fucking a Hannibal Lecter. What? <laughs> Chick oh, oh, chicken in his eye? It's just a photo. It's just a photo <laughs> with no sound. Anthony, what the? F I the have no this? problem with him being born. I think that's great. That's no, I gotta perfect. show you the dancing vids. Yeah, but I like scrolling. Here it is. Five million views. Dance, but it's really on some street shit. <laughs> it's Drake. <laughs> 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 yeah, nah, Yeah, hit that slide, boy. Ooh. Ooh. That's hot. How old is he? I mean, That's he's still got cool. it. He kind of seems like a fun dad, you know? Yeah, I like that. him. A fun daddy. He's 83. 83? He's still daddy? crushing that slide, bro? Is he painting? Looks yeah, like I think it. he is painting. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, Daddy, I, I love Anthony. See, I'm jealous of that uh, kind of like. If I could be that cool when I'm old, that's so amazing. I feel like I've never known like cool old people. This is you when life. you're 80. Yeah, that's my fear. <laughs> that's the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> look, the thing is, can look we, how can happy we he pledge is. pledge right here, the both of us, to not be that. Look how happy he is. I don't care. What, not be like Daddy? what? Look how unhappy I am looking at it. 
<laughs> I pledge nothing. Ugh. When I'm old, I'm just going to take a bunch of heroin and die. Stop it. <laughs> I agree with you about the Paul Newman. Yeah, he's the, the hottest, dude, right? Dude, I have a poster of Paul Newman. Oh, that's kind of gay. But I mean, with peace and love, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. But You have a poster of young Paul Newman in your room? Uh, it's from when he was 50 and he's sitting in a car and you can see his Rolex. So. Oh, it's oh, like the you Rolex. Were, God. <laughs> you ever beat off to it? Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. But his Rolex sold. It's the highest selling watch ever sold. How much? 16 million. What? Holy yeah. shit. Paul Newman. That's swag right there. Can we boy. see a picture of it? Oh, my Is it a special God. Rolex or it's yeah, just Paul what Newman? It looks like. we'll it's a 60s it. Rolex Daytona at 6263 model. And we'll um, never get it. Just know the model. <laughs> Answer the question, dude. Is it a special Rolex or is it just special because it's Paul Newman's? Well, it was special because it's Paul Newman's. Yeah. And he put on the back, he engraved drive safe me. And because he re- used to raise cars and he was just like this badass motherfucker. Paul Newman, young versus, okay, who would you fuck? <clears throat> Paul Newman, young. I feel like we've had this exact conversation. <clears throat> Paul Newman, young. Or you want to see him shirtless or not? Dude was a stud. Here, dude. this is a good photo of him. Mm-hmm. So Paul Newman, young. Get out of my life, Facebook, forever. Stupid. Or yeah, Marlon, Marlon Brando, young. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. Hey, come on. I'm just thought experimenting. Why you got to be such a? I think Newman. I think Brando. Oh, really? You think Brando's more handsome? <clears throat> I'm going to contest that. <laughs> really? He's got too much forehead or something. If you look how they age, Paul Newman aged better than Brando. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Marlon aged like Jack Nicholson, but like <laughs> t- 30 years before he did. Dude, Marlon Brando. Brandon. Wait, this, Brandon? This, old. This is really what our content is. Dude, him old. <laughs> Just look, look at this, boy. Age. Let's go. Oh, no. That's my boy right there. That depresses me. Look at this. Now, is that a god or what, bro? I would not date a man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can see his gut spilling out the bottom. Mm, beautiful. Sex icon. Oh, he looked good in Godfather, though. Don't even hate on that, bro. <clears throat> you come to my house. <clears throat> you come to my house. That's his son? That's his son? I'm just saying he the, he he, got, he, he was like the most handsome man alive. Like it's obviously cl- Stop! skips like a generation. This is, we're just turning into a mean <clears throat> mean segment. What is he what are, what are these people are like dead? What what are we doing? We're being dead. mean to who? <laughs> and you come to my house and you call me fat. Uh, you come here. No, 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 no. <laughs> here you come to my house. No. And you tell me I don't yeah. like this conversation. This is not for you. Well, it, it is our house. It's not your house. And I ask you this. Would you rather fuck Marlon Brandon or... Brando. Mar- I th- <laughs> I, it said Marlon Brandon. That Google corrected me. I thought always thought it was Marlon Brando. And Google fucking wrote Brandon. So what the fuck? Oh it it says right below it. Did you mean Brando? No, <laughs> let me go back. Let me go back. Because I swear to God it did that. That's impossible. I swear to fuck it did that. <laughs> and you come to my house. <laughs> it's our house. You come into my space and you tell me we, we can have this conversation. Yes, Would you rather fuck it's my show too Jack and Nicholson, I can tell you what Paul Newman or Marlon Brandon <laughs> Stop <laughs> or Justin Timberlands I or just Ramen Head <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather fuck Sting? He's here for some reason. Nah. Sting is my idol, man. <laughs> Why? You have too many idols. You have Zach. way you too many down. idols. Dude, he is the you got to tone it down, Zach. You just got to tone it down. You got to pick the... one idol. You can't have like 20 idols. Do you understand? Okay, my, my two idols, if I had to narrow it down. Yes. Sting and Dave Grohl. This... Stop. No. 
That's like you've, you've been talking on the show about all your idols for too long for you to come at me and say sting. Yeah, one that you've never mentioned. The police before. is like stop. My top, I my don't believe you. Sting is not your idol. No, I, I know no. every sting song. I know every police song. You need, quiz me. I don't. I'm not going to quiz you. And I just, I'm just telling you right now, Sting is not your idol. I forbid it. He is. He's not. All right, let's move on. Nobody cares. All right. Oh, we were watching this. I totally forgot. <laughs> we don't have an ad today, so who cares? You come into my house. <laughs> and you tell me Sting is Stop! your idol? <laughs> no. But the Sting? How you don't want to go against the family? I thought I was your idol. The Papa Father. Am I not your idol, Zach? <laughs> Am I not your idol? <laughs> for everything I've done for you, you come to you me. You are one of my idols. Zach, not one, one, one of a billion. <laughs> Zach, answer immediately. What's Sting's real name? Gordon Sumner. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> nice try, Dan. Yeah, I thought maybe I'd get him on that. So just to sum up that whole segment, I just want to say Anthony Hopkins in Westworld. That's my goal. You want to be right. in Westworld? As His look in Westworld. Okay. That's what we got out <laughs> and of I'm this. I'm going sad. for Jack Nicholson courtside. I'm already sad because I know it's not going to happen. You'll look good in old age. I'll do. I'll be like Jack Nicholson in courtside. <laughs> no. No. It's just not fair. Like, I already no. can't control my weight. Like, what am I going to do when I'm 80? Do you know what I mean? There's no fucking hope for me. You I'm do it die. now. I am going well, to you're die. Fat. No, you're not. Jack Stop Nicholson it. by Quartzsite. You're fat, fat, fatty. No. It's just not. <sighs> you're already doing it. You're losing weight already. You see what I had for what I had for breakfast? I'm on this neutral, this neutral torture. Neutral system should be put out of business. I'm just saying what they're I doing you is didn't criminal. Say the name. <laughs> I did. I oh, you neutral did. system sh is a criminal enterprise, and they should be put out of business. You can't put someone on a thousand calories a day and why are expect you doing? them to live. What, Dan? Well, but you're doing. What do you mean? Because I want to be fat. <laughs> you're looking good though. No, I'm not. I'm you still are. fat. You are losing weight. Bro, it's been like months of be like, I'm gonna get on the Peloton. I'm gonna get on the okay, treadmill. I'm gonna get on the fucking Jenny Craig. Fuck you, Jenny Craig, you bitch. <laughs> it Sorry. takes time. Just mad. I didn't do Jenny Craig, but I would. You're wouldn't. doing it. It takes time. How much time does it take, Elo? I mean, how long did it take you to gain all the weight? Years. A lot of time. Right? So. What did I have for breakfast? It was, what did I have? Oh, oh my God, dude. It was a bag of granola. I used Theodore's bowl. <laughs> and it didn't even, it filled up like maybe an eighth of Theodore's bowl. They go, and then on the back, they have the balls to say, pour it in a bowl with a fourth cup of milk and enjoy. It's like, bitch, I am not going to enjoy this. And how dare you even write that? Just say, and just no, fucking I, I don't complain. I really don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> the Nutra bullshit. It, sh it should be outlawed. You can't tell someone to put on a, th a thousand calories a day. It's just not okay. Maybe it's not approved by anything. I assume it is. That's why they get away with that. I go, oh, these motherfuckers know what they're doing. <laughs> You're talking yeah, about how it should be don't. legal, how it's dangerous. Like, why are you doing it? It sounds like you're so Did you talk it. about how they tell you not to exercise? Yeah, they tell you the first week when you're on a thousand calories. They say minimize your physical, ac physical activity. You believe that shit? <laughs> because like, you're on so little calories. They, so, they go, try not to move at shouldn't all. Shouldn't that be such a Minimize reply? your steps, they say. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's gotta be so bad. Like the other thing is like I hate exercise. Do you understand? Like of all the things, like there's certain things that I can do. There's certain things that I don't like doing. Like for example, I don't like doing the dishes, and so or I don't like doing laundry. But there's certain chores that I don't mind doing. Exercising is the thing that I hate the most in life. Mm. It's misery. Do you understand? It's misery. I thought you were enjoying it when you were. Yeah, I was. I was trying, <laughs> but I. Okay. I don't like it. I just. Who are these people that like running? Like fuck you. Dude. Well, those people are sick. <laughs> I love <Enjoy> running. running. <laughs> I love running. Zach Why don't you go run off a running. cliff, you <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I love running. running it's my nice. favorite pastime. It, it feels good. Yeah. Oh Zach, God. you don't run anywhere. Stop. Yes, I do. Where do you run? To fucking... I, I run my neighborhood. Really? How often? 
Uh, three times a week. What? How long does your run last? Mm, half hour. How long have you been doing it? Uh, since I initially dropped the weight, so a couple of years. Oh my god! How did, wait, why don't you get some of Zach's knowledge on how did he lose weight? Zach just tells me to like eat butter. He's like telling me to do the keto shit. I was you, like, you, nah. You get, if you want to see results, you got to cut out carbs for a week. Trust me. Trust me. That's true. And just do everything normal. Yeah, just no carbs, no sugar. That's true. What does no sugar mean? Does that mean no fruit and shit? Like, how drastic are we talking uh, about? Try and avoid fruits. Whenever um, I try to gain weight, I gotta eat carbs. Like, if you cut that, you're really eating. Lean. So I can eat everything I want, just not bread or fruit or or anything. Yeah, or any, fruit. Anything with carbohydrates, which is sugar. Yeah. But doesn't that just end up with you like eating like bacon with butter and? turds and a fucking it, baked well, it doesn't have to that's a choice yeah like just chicken and vegetable i know it sounds bland and <laughs> shit but it, it believe me it works i guarantee you will see results in a week hmm. you did try this once before though like this isn't a novel thing i remember you did the keto thing a couple years ago i don't think i really committed well you said you did <laughs> i don't remember i know i did but i don't remember what i did that's it. You just cut out carbs. I just, I just I don't buy it. I don't buy it. No bread. No um, sugar. Pasta. Or anything. You don't even like that stuff. So I mean, bread you do. I like. love bread. Or if you have to limit it, one bread a day to help you shit. Because I know like a lot. But of I feel like you really want to see quick results. I think your problem right now is you're not seeing results. So maybe. Also, maybe I'm afraid. I'm afraid to weigh saying. myself. To be honest with you. I haven't weighed myself in a long time because I think once I get on that scale and see that I didn't actually lose any weight, I'm just going to like get so discouraged and be like, fuck this. I'm going straight to Taco Bell. Ah. Don't weigh yourself. Don't Do exactly. It. Don't weigh yourself. Don't weigh yourself because it's discouraging I haven't. shit. <clears throat> Dude, I swear to God in the future someday they can have like nanobots that you eat. Or like nanoparticles or whatever, and they will regulate your metabolism. You can eat whatever the fuck you want, mm -hmm. and then your metabolism will take oh exactly God, what you need and discard so the rest. Amazing! It will happen, and in our future, within a hundred years, people will not be fat. We'll will discard every extra or too skinny. Like you can just eat exactly what you need. Well, you have to eat enough calories. Still, it doesn't create calories. Mm. So you're still gonna have to eat. Unfortunately, there's no solution to that, Hila. Freak. He was thinking, oh my god, I don't have to yeah, eat. Yeah, I thought I thought you were solving my problem here. <sighs> the problem is like I get so much pleasure from eating, you know, too. It's like the only thing I have in life. Do you understand? It's like all I have. I really have this feeling like you need to talk to a therapist. <clears throat> it's like it's like more than anything, it's in the head, like psychological. Exactly because of what you just said. What is he going to be like? Oh, yeah, your parents don't love you, so you've replaced their love with food. How's that going to help me? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how's that going to help me, Eva? They'd be like, oh, your parents didn't spend any time with you and you were just happy when they brought you home fast food? Because the only time you actually got, they did something for you. And so you think about that when mm. you eat trash. How's that going to help me, Hila? You want me to revisit that trauma? You think that's going to help me? You think that the only time I can fulfill my soul and feel like I matter at all is when I eat fast food? Hmm. You want me to think on that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Sometimes I cry when I eat fast food because... No, I'm kidding. No, you don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that I don't necessarily support you doing the Nutri system. It seems Nobody so does. bad for you. It's stupid. It's horrible. It's not. It doesn't make sense. I can't eat a thousand calories a day, you dumb assholes. And also, like they, it's also like kind of demeaning how they do the the diet because they go, okay, fatty, here's like. Here's a chocolate chip cookie because I know your fat fucking ass wants it. <laughs> so they feed you like unhealthy food. Be like, look, see, you can still eat whatever you want. And it's like, I don't want that. Yeah. They go, here's the smallest little muffin. But stay right here. I'm going to go get, I'm going to show you. <laughs> stay here. <laughs> if 
feel bad. Have you tried any of it, Ela? No. Looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin. Yeah, I was just curious before. It was horrible when I tried it. It doesn't. It, the whole thing looks so depressing. Yeah. In the comments of the last episode where he said that, there was, there was tons of people saying, please don't do that. That's so unhealthy for you. Somebody yeah. your age should not be eating like that. I and mean, he's it's talking like, about how it's here's like your breakfast and it's like this tiny thing with cereal, like super plain cereal. And then, um, I don't know, he has like meal options like pizza and it's like this tiny thing. <laughs> Gross. Really thin. It's like, how is that going to do anything? I don't know. And also, what's the end goal? If you lose a bunch of weight, how is he supposed to maintain anything afterwards? Like, it's not actually it does like, just educational. Sound like, yeah, it's just regulated starving it's not practical. Yourself. It's not practical at all. Zach, how did you manage after you lost weight to maintain? Well, I, I admit I'm somewhat of a yo-yoer. Mm. Um, so you just got to monitor it, you know? Mm. The, um, you know, working out, yeah, no one working out fucking sucks, but sometimes you got to do it. Yeah. But you know, you just watch what you eat. I stick if I, I if I'm gonna have a bread, one bread a day. You know, I'll cheat, like yeah, but it's just watching what you eat. That's what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, you know, splurging is fun, and you know, you feel bad after it, but it it just it, you just got to monitor what you eat. Mm-hmm. And I truly feel keto works. I, I mm. swear by it. Okay, here we go. Look at this shit. Okay, you want to see my meals? Here. These are all meals, okay? Here, I haven't had this one yet. You go, oh, honey wheat bagel. I can eat whatever I want on, on Nutrisystem. This is breakfast. This is breakfast. This is a meal, okay? Let's see how big it is. Seems reasonable. This seems reason. This is a meal, Dan. What the fuck? This is it's reasonable. Like a cookie. I mean, I was expecting it to be- look like tiny. I mean, that's like this a- is a meal. What are you that's saying? Not, that's not the worst one. Because <laughs> really? breakfast, breakfast doesn't need to be that huge. Okay. Yeah, I mean, eating a bagel for breakfast. What's okay. the problem? Okay, calm down, you guys. Here's dinner. Ready? Thick crust pizza. You go. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. Well, that's just false that's advertising. Funny. <laughs> That's not false advertising. This oh, is so it's not dinner. Thick. That's straight it's up so fraud. Thin. Yeah, no, that's not the crust. It's so thin. That's it, dinner, bro. Does it balloon up when you that's cook not it? Fraud. It is fraud. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is it, bro. How can they call that thick crust pizza? Yeah. That's not thick. They're like, we make thinner. You want to see breakfast? How about this for breakfast? Look. Oh, bowl of cereal. This? That's oh. like one bite of cereal. That looks nice. Eat it then, fucker. <laughs> it's just sad looking, dude. It's so sad. That's my problem. Breakfast. It looks so sad. Yeah, this is a breakfast muffin. This one seems kind of legit, actually. Oh. That, but that, that's breakfast. The chocolate muffin? Mmm. <laughs> this is what I had this morning. You want to see it? Granola. Look, on the back it says, it says add a, a half cup of fat-free milk and enjoy. Enjoy. Here, this is the whole pack. <laughs> you can fit it in my hand. Enjoy. I think I'm out. I That's don't it. think this is sustainable, and also it does not teach you how to maintain afterwards. Like, what are you gonna do after? Eat pizza and freak out. <laughs> Have like a panic attack. I'm not gonna hate on this muffin, though, actually. Okay, well, we're actually recording here, and I'm not gonna sit here and let you chew like you do on Frenemies. Oh, man. <laughs> I get anxiety when I hear chewing sounds. You don't like ASMR? Trisha likes it. She encouraged me to chew on the mic. Anyway, we were watching this Dave Daddy. Letterman interview. <laughs> that was literally like 40 minutes ago. Man. Let's finish it. 
<laughs> now he kind of went Weasley on you and said, "No, no, I had nothing to do with this. It was not not my deal. I had I didn't know what was going on." That's that's what I heard. Now, did he know what was going on? No, it wasn't supposed to happen the way that it did. <laughs> but you know, it, it it looked like it was supposed to happen that way. Oh. It was supposed yeah. to happen. This is part of what Justin. Uh, apologize for by the way well by the way Something they cleared it with somebody like why are people blaming them i mean somebody put this together it's a super right. mole like there's some someone greenlit this i, I was mean, i was reading up about it again i mean this was so long ago that a lot of the details were hazy for me i, I guess <clears throat> it it what seems to be the consensus now in retrospect is that justin and and her planned it themselves oh they did it all secret yes and then Sneaky, they got all this backlash and so they denied it but yeah i mean that's why you could kind of tell when dave right there was saying justin so he's saying he had nothing to do with this or whatever you can kind of see on her face it's like kind of fucked because um she knows that he totally did interesting can i play this do you think well you can just i, I watched it i mean you know it's well, a, I just want to know what we're talking about. They're going to rate it, so whatever. They can tell. I'm going to cut the sound. What are they going to just... What's, hey, it's, it's right now. That was uh, weird. That looks planned. It was definitely. Oh, it was definitely yeah, planned. You can't just like tear <laughs> off her outfit. <laughs> yeah, I don't. people don't plan for that. An alpha, a, a, a top malfunction. I think you got to build it that way. The, the lyrics also say, I'm going to have you naked by the end of this song. And then he does it. Uh. So I think like the Senate put together like a 200 page like report, like Benghazi or the 9-11 commission. They did like that on Janet Jackson's titty. <laughs> Janice Jackson. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Titty. So now we know that it was obviously not a mistake. Cause I mean, how do you, you can't just tear off. A whole piece of recording. <laughs> <laughs> like, also... So, but why did Justin apologize to her? He... Did he apologize to her? But I don't know why she got... She, she didn't do anything. He he ripped her titty. Well, they planned it together. They should both get shit for it together. I just don't see it right, being I think that, that big... that was the thing, is, is at the time, for whatever reason, she got... Yeah. Way more backlash than he did. Yeah. And that's weird. Like Justin is skirting, always skirting out of controversy. I mean, he did the action. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's not that, it's just, maybe the times change. I don't know, but like it's not even her bare breast. It's covered. It is. It, it's definitely a times change kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Cause I yeah. agree now, by today's standards, this is like nothing. But, but I guess during the, time, the Super Bowl, was, you've got was, like 100 million people and kids and all these Christians who are like, mm -hmm. oh, the yeah. devil's in the titty. And they they did. They got um they got fined by the FCC, but mm. for a ton of money for this for oh, really? decency. Can you tell me how much? I think it was like I mean in the in the scheme of the Super Bowl it wasn't a lot. I think it was like half a million dollars or something. But mm. I think at the time it was the largest um fine that had ever been issued for indecency. <laughs> Dude, our country is such a shithole where this is like a big scandal. I mean, really. Burn. I mean, they have nudity hey, all over. TV and Europe and stuff. It, it exactly. Is, you know, I remember when I went to Germany, here. there was like titties on the TV. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> there was they're like they're, hardcore porn at night. They were very conservative. I was like, what? Like, what? It's titties. Titties. You know? 550,000. That's not a big deal. It was uh, 325,000 actually. So less than that even. So anyway, yada yada yada. It's just a loan. It's just <laughs> man, this is a fucking shit show of an episode. I don't even know why we're here. I, I forgot. We're okay. About. So anyway, we we're talking about free Britney. Right. So yeah, Justin made an apology. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Justin Timber, Justin Timberlake mm -hmm. apologized to uh, Britney. He, he said, also said to Janet in the same apology. Oh, Janet, I was like, oh, okay, that's what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, and that's why I was asking why did It's like, bro, a little to... fucking late to apologize to Janet. Like, holy shit, bro. So here's his post. Um, God, I'd love to read the comments. Did he, has he been erasing comments, I wonder? It took you 17 years for this? That's the top comment. 
Yeah, it's like a little late for Janet. I've seen the messages, tags, comments, and concerns, and I want to respond. I am deeply sorry for the times in my life where my actions contributed to the problem where I spoke out of turn or did not speak up for what was right. I understand that I fell short in these moments and in many others and benefited from a system that condones. Benefited from a system that condones? Oh, like. I see. Misogyny and racism. I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson both individually because I care for and respect these women and I know I failed. I also feel compelled to respond in part because everyone involved deserves better and most importantly because this is a larger conversation that I wholeheartedly want to be a part of. The industry is flawed. It sets men, especially white men, up for success. It's designed this way. As a man in a privileged position, I have to be vocal about this. Because of my ignorance, I didn't recognize it for all that it was while it was happening in my own life, but I did not want to ever benefit from others being pulled down again. I have never been perfect in navigating all of this throughout my career. I know this apology is a first step and doesn't absolve the past. I want to take accountability for my own missteps and all of this, as well as part of a world that uplifts and supports. I care deeply about the well-being of the people I love and have loved. I can do better and will do better. (coughs) Why did did he apologize to Janet? I just, I'm reading about it. So the, it seems like for her, it was super awful and humiliating experience that resulted in her being banned from the Super Bowl. Huh. And he just kind of like went off with no punishment or anything. It just didn't affect him. I mean, that that is so messed up because like, he, uh, but if you look at, he's the one that like. I think that's why he's saying. I think, and it's, I don't think he's apologizing specifically for the action of doing it. He's apologizing for not. For not standing up exactly. for yeah. her, yes. basically. Yes. She got the. And just being like, yo, I was part of this too. Like, okay. But let's let's assume that what they said was true, that it wasn't meant to go down like that. So basically what they're saying is, yeah, I just I just essayed her. He went and grabbed her boob and pulled her top off like, I'm sorry. And somehow well, people- they again and I know watching it, it's like absurd. But at the time they were just playing it off that it was uh, that it was a mistake. Oh, no, I was, go- I was just going to tap her shoulder and say, good work. Keep in mind, too, I believe coming out. this was like pre-video uh, sharing sites. I don't think YouTube existed at the time. It wasn't being rebroadcast. Oh, for real? Yeah, so it, it's kind of a different time. They were able to sort of memory hole it because people just saw it live and that was it. Hmm. So a lot of people, I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of people attribute the creation of YouTube to this event because the creator of YouTube was looking for this video and he couldn't find it anywhere online. That, that that titty moment changed the whole world. And that you could even say that titty moment gave me a job in the future. <laughs> it's titties. That Janet Jackson's titty gave me a fucking purpose in life. <laughs> in a weird, indirect way. I'm working now. You guys are watching this podcast because of Janet's tit. Wow. It's awesome. Titties. It's titties. Titties. Well, um, is that true? That is That's really true, huh? Yeah, I sent an article so, about a so four. The owner of the founder of YouTube is a little bit of a perv, or what? <laughs> he just wanted to find her tit online and he couldn't. Well, not a perv, maybe like just out of like. Well, he's like, why can't I find this tit? And now here I am talking about it on YouTube like 20 years later. Wow, man. Wow, man. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it really affected her career at that moment. Like, it was a really bad moment for her. Eesh. That's, yeah. I mean, that's horrible. Yeah. And the he did Britney really dirty, dude. He did her really dirty. So, anyway, there's updates on the actual Free Britney case, which I will share with you guys here today. Good news for Britney. Leave Britney alone! I agree. A judge decided to, de- he's all of us now. Isn't that so ironic? Yeah. We laughed, but now we're all together on this. A judge decided to deny Britney Spears' father increased power over her affairs, a rare move that could indicate diminishing faith in James Spears' fitness for the role, experts say. It appears the court lacks some confidence in the father. There must be some level of conflict and some level of confidence in the father's financial decision making. Clearly, there's <laughs> conflict. Like, what are you, fucking a psychic? I mean, they've been saying it from the very beginning. She's like, please, anyone but my dad. Yeah. There seems to be a little conflict. 
The ruling was not a total victory for Brittany, however. The court chipping away at the sole control that Jamie has enjoyed over her affairs for many, many years. He believes that uh, this will not be over for any time soon. He will he will continue to oversee his daughter for some time. Hmm. You would think Get it would be immediate. Head. Why is it he's going to continue to oversee her for some time? Yeah, it's it's it insane. Be immediate. He should be gone, dude. Yeah. I do not like him. It's like, hey, we're not sure that he's actually responsible enough, but um, can you please endure him for some time? It's like so vague. Don't you think it's such a good comparison, though, that like Kanye managed to keep his estate? Mm -hmm. You know? The worst part for me was watching it was the part when she lost, you know, um, custody of her kids. Yeah, so sad. So sad. Anyway, let's move it on to something yeah. fun. All right, Ian, I'm throwing it to you. So you guys are not really super familiar with Logan's Pokemon thing going on? Mm -mm. Just that he's apparently making bank selling Pokemon cards. I didn't know Pokemon cards were worth so much money. Uh, at all, so yeah. There's a little video if you want to pull that up that kind of summarizes it that uh, AB put together. Okay. What do we got here? Breaking open a two hundred thousand oh, dollar box of first edition cards. <gasps> What's that? So what is this? It's like a, some sh so this is like what does first edition mean? It's like the first run of the cards. Um, <laughs> so the card isn't better. It, it's not like a better card. It's just more collectible. There's a little icon on it that says first edition. It's um, mm. only on the first run. And then mm. every other reprint doesn't have that. Okay. So this is the original shit. Interesting. Okay. And boy, was I wrong. For the next three hours, 300,000 people watched a grown ass man open shiny card. Oh, he's a grown ass garage. man now. <laughs> Logan thought he's like, hey, I'm just a kid. Now he's a grown ass man. Okay, good to know. I'll remember that. <laughs> Wait, are you strawberry or a grown ass man? Okay, sorry. I'm just, I'm just gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> On the planet, why is it so hard to find these boxes? The people who have them want to keep them. I cracked it open to confirm that all the packs inside were legit. Hey, what did I pay for this? You paid 350 k It's a lot of money for a little box of cardboard. Two million dollars in the hole. I still had yet to complete the biggest transaction of my life. Two boxes, at 675. It's done. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's lock it. Yes, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. I I do want to say that I am willing to go along with this segment. I am curious, but I cannot concentrate on anything else. But but Logan Logan just ignoring that COVID exists. Like he's meeting people. They're all sitting in a room mm. celebrating, just like having a party. Well, wait. His original video that got all these views. Tell me about that, Ian, which kind of started this whole, or did it start the craze, but he had this huge opening party where he bought a box for like, how much was the initial box? And then... It was 200000 And then he apparently pulled a Charizard, which was worth like a billion dollars. His guys said it was 350000 uh, but Logic bought one a few days later for two hundred and twenty. Mm. So So that was proven the, to be, in the words the of the great... a little, yeah. you know... Uh, wavering, I suppose. I'm a mother freaking blueberry. He's a blueberry or a grown man. <laughs> Can you be both? Anyway, sorry. Let's see. Uh, anyway, anyway, we've got we've got trading cards here to talk about. Uh, he bought the original box for two hundred thousand. He made he apparently made a lot of money selling packs individually, right, Ian? Yeah, that was the whole thing. He he advertises that. Initial price tag of two hundred thousand, but he auctioned off every single pack um, for the opportunity to get whatever's inside. And I he auctioned them for eleven thousand each. Mm -hmm. Each box has uh, thirty six packs in it. So all in all, he made a uh, around three hundred and ninety thousand dollars. That's so interesting to me that he's able to make money. Like, if why would the people who own the box sell the box instead of just selling individually packed packs if it's so valuable to you know what i mean if it's so easy to make money from it yeah i'm not sure, quite sure i think this auction off unboxing thing is kind of a new sort of trend mm. so 
I don't know. It's interesting. I'm surprised so many people have that much money to spend on cards. Yeah. So the new one he's <laughs> doing, I saw packs are going for like 40000 I was like, who the fuck got that much kind of money? We spent on Pokemon card shit. I'm fairly rich. I wouldn't drop 40000 on a Pokemon card. <laughs> but I yeah, guess it's he, an investment. I don't know. He kind of inflated the market after his initial because he said that he got it for 200000 And then when he went to do it again, he was buying boxes for around three hundred and fifty to 400000 yeah, that's interesting. He drove the entire inflation himself, and now he's continuing to drive the inflation. Although it's it's benefiting him because you said you said like this next one he's doing, he stands to make like three million bucks or something. Uh, yeah he he now has six boxes. Uh, he spent two million dollars on on six of them. Mm. Uh, as I said, there's thirty six packs per box. Now they're averaging around $38,000 each pack. Wow. How can you find that many people? Wait, yeah. how many packs Whoa. is that? That's six times 36. Who is that? S like, how is there that many people willing to drop 40 grand on a what's pack? What's the of demographic, you know? like Well, Logic bought one, so, I mean, he's like a rich dude who liked Pokemon. Yeah. But still, no. Yeah, he's doing, I think he's just doing one box uh, next week. Oh. But mm -hmm. he said he's raised over a million for that one. Wow. And, uh, so if all if every Whoa, pack he sells, so he's gonna make like seventy percent on that. If he spent like three hundred thousand, he's gonna make seven hundred thousand bucks. Yeah, if that if that average holds for all six boxes, <laughs> it would be around eight point two million dollars. That's crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. Bro. Okay, listen, I can't hate on the guy. It's an interesting vertical. I can't hate on him for that. There's plenty of other things I can hate on him for. But the Pokemon thing, I can't hate on him. I mean, AB, you're a collector. What do you think about all this? Well, I haven't collected since I was a kid, but I could see the pull for an adult. Yeah, it's huge fun. I mean, obviously, there's interest. There's 300,000 people watching. Yeah. So. I highlighted the part about McDonald's, which uh, this whole craze has kind of been messing up Happy Meals for kids. So what happened with McDonald's? Uh, it's Pokemon's 25th anniversary in like a couple weeks. So McDonald's is going to include little cards. Uh, in the Happy Meals. And <laughs> yeah, these scalpers are going and buying like 50 so, Happy Meals. Like oh the, people are buying like 100 Happy Meals and you know they're not eating the food. They're just throwing it out from the <laughs> fucking cart. It's like, and now all these poor kids can't get their goddamn Pikachu Happy Meals. Crazy. Are these Bruh. cards they're putting in the Happy Meals really valuable? Like what is going on with these Happy Meals? I don't think they're uh, valuable now, but I think that it's the same as, I mean, neither were the, these Pokemon cards mm -hmm. in 1999. You know what I mean? Like, Let the kids have their Happy Meals, man. <laughs> well, first of all, McDonald's, can you just limit it to one like or two per customer? Like, why are you selling 100 Happy Meals to some teenager? That's Come good. on. Yeah, they probably should have limited it. I thought that was me for a second. <laughs> hey, dude, listen. God bless. I know it's your hobby and stuff, but I mean, come on. I don't really give a fuck, but oh. thanks for letting me know. Okay. That's true. <laughs> Logan's got people all over the country scooping up make, like, fucking Happy Meals. Huh. Okay. Well, with all the hype, I want to get on. I see how excited people are. Logan's making like millions of dollars. So I says, I'm rich. I got money laying around. I want to make money. So we bought our own first edition Pokemon packs. Wow. Ian somehow was able to locate this. Hmm. I think, what did we spend? We got two full boxes. We spent about $500,000. Yeah, $500, Tell me about the handoff. Uh, I mean, it was it was all very sort of backdoor, you know, a lot of channels I had to go through. This guy named the Pokey Pimp. <laughs> the Pokey him. Pimp? Wow, the Pokey yeah. Pimp for real? Damn. Okay, yeah. so we have two boxes, so I'm really excited. We actually have this rig here. I'm going to do an unpacking and everything. So here's the first one. Now here, Ian, right off the bat, I have to tell you that... I'm a little skeptical of whatever this is because the hell? their boxes seemed yeah. like have hard plastic and stuff, but this is just saran wrapped. So maybe they just were extra safe. Well, there's no plot. It doesn't. Why is this saran wrapped, Ian? I mean, it looks pretty secure to me. Hmm. Hmm. 
It well, says no, Pokemon and yeah, it's I mean, legit. Yeah, it's covered on glass. So. Yeah, get the gloves on. Our top camera. Yeah, uh, here, let me activate it. One second. Okay, we've got the overhead overhead camera, and as you guys can see, this is us. This does not look first edition. <laughs> this is Saran wrapped, Ian. <laughs> you didn't ask any questions when you saw this. This doesn't look right. I, I mean, he looked looked trustworthy to me. Oh, this is the Pokey Pimp. I mean, this is uh, yeah. It's in his Was name. he wearing Pokemon merch? <laughs> Was he dressed as uh, Ash or what? Or Rocket yeah. Rocket Team or whatever the fuck? Yeah. He was okay. decked out. Okay. Okay, let's see. Dude, I feel, I feel like you're not taking this seriously. I spent $250,000 on this, Ian. You can you, yeah, be, the be gentle with no, the No, it's $500,000 for both. I'm not uh, taking shit. Okay. And by the way, you gave me a fucking $250,000 pack that's wrapped in saran wrap, Ian. Maybe okay. this is being extra careful. Okay, here. Go ahead to the overhead. All right. Extra careful? What are you talking about? Be very gentle. Yeah, be very gentle. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. Oh, it says first edition here. It does. <laughs> it does say like, first yeah. edition. So. <laughs> it says one edition. Oh shit! I ripped the. Oh my god! The box is in. Oh my god! god. All right, let's see the overhead. Okay, here we go. Oh my okay. god. <gasps> oh shit. This, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, Ian, this is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. No, 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 no. That can't be right. Hmm. There's no way. Was that one of the um, the generations of Pokemon? Was there like a like a Robin Hood like spinoff kind of thing that happened at one point or something? I, I, I haven't see, followed Pokemon in a while, so I don't see any mention of Pokemon. This is literally Robin Hood, Prince. Of, here, show this. Ian, what the fuck is Robin Hood? Why are there Robin Hood Prince of Thieves playing cards even? Maybe open one and see if it's like mistakenly. Yo, oh. did you steal? Oh, you know what? It could actually. Special. Yeah, it could be worth more if it's a yeah. misprint, actually. So are um are Robin Hood Prince of Thieves cards worth anything? Can anyone look those Can up? Can you show the, the top camera? Site? Unboxing here. Let's see what we got. Are you supposed to tear it? I'm not like sure how to open easy, it. Easy, easy, easy. These, oh. these packs are ancient. Okay, I guess there's a... Yeah. All right, here we go. Now it's worth less. Nope, I, these corners look good to me. We're going to have to send these to get rated for sure. Oh, here we go. Is that the cause? This is... Oh! <laughs> we got Kevin. Oh, it's just oh. the sticker. It's just a sticker. Oh, okay. Okay, just so that's that, that's like a bonus that comes in the here, pack. Let me put this like... Here, yeah. let's get the pack. Okay, we got the cause. Yeah. Here, so this is a sticker, but here's the playing cards. Okay, here we go. So we've got. Um, can you see that, Dan? They average from five to ten bucks on eBay per card. I uh, know for like a whole set. <laughs> for a whole set, Ian. Bruh. What the fuck Bruh. did you buy? It doesn't it cost like ten dollars just to get it like rated? I mean, that doesn't <laughs> even cover the whole set. What do you mean the whole set? Like every card? Says trading card set fifty five cards for five dollars. Oh Whoa, my fuck? god, that's the whole set, bro. <laughs> Why am I even wearing these gloves? These gloves yeah. cost more than the whole set. Well, hold <laughs> on, let's see if we got any foils. Sure would a blaze, especially during a pandemic. The How gloves that a are part? more. Sure would a blaze. You still there may <laughs> Look be at a, the image. It's so stupid. It's just a dude on a bridge. It's on fire. Like it doesn't make any sense. How is that a trading card? It's just <laughs> a frame from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Maybe the Charizard is, is buried a little no. bit. Yeah. It see if, oh, it's, happily ever after. They're not characters. Why are these like a battle for Nottingham, England at last? What the fuck, bro? Where's the goddamn? Oh. A plan is hatched. Oh, this, they're just describing the plot of the film. That's a good card. I think that's a worthy. What's the stats? How much HP does uh, cause? It's, there's no <laughs> stats. It's just like. A plan is hatched. Nah, that's a no, that's no. You card. see, twenty five. That's actually that's that's a lot of um. That's a lot of thief points. We will set traps, if then you hide among the to trees. Robin Hood, the restaurant. You can't, you're putting too much pressure on it. You're like <laughs> gonna bend the corners. <laughs> what? If you take that to Robin Hood, the restaurant, you know how many burgers you can get. You mean that? Ron Robin? What do you mean? Uh, Round Robin, not Robin Hood, the restaurant, Hila. Round Robin? Ra yeah. Red Robin. Red Robin. You're talking about Red Robin? <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, talking about Red Robin. <laughs> Here, can I please read the card? <laughs> a plan is hatched. We will set traps and then hide among the trees and bush brush of the forest, explains Robin. Why are you even including explains Robin? Just do the quote. Like, how dumb. They, they expect me to, like, 
They expect well, me to like, watch the, the mo- movie through these playing cards. Well, if you haven't watched the movie, you need that context. When the sher- I think they're just quoting the film, dude. When the sheriff men come into Sherwood to capture us, we will surprise and catch them instead. So wow. it's like an ambush card. It's a trap mm-hmm. card. What am I going to do with all these packs? Can we acknowledge Robin Hood, the theme being stealing from the rich? <laughs> mm, true. <laughs> I feel like you got robbed. <laughs> yeah, somebody robbed for me, and I don't think it was Robin. I think it was Ian. Like, where's the Pokemon pack that I spent $250,000 on? I mean, I'm not super familiar with the Pokemon lore after like, I could tell two. you for sure that Robin Hood and tights is not part of Pokemon can't, lore. Uh, it, well, it could hold be on. a spinoff. Yeah, I mean. Okay, can you show the overhand cam, please, Dan? I, guess, I mean, yeah, we're yeah, doing on The cards are so ugly. Oh, here's a character Maid Marion. Okay, I got a Maid Marion, so I got a character card. That's good. This is my second Sherwood Ablaze. <laughs> you that, got one, that one, unfortunately, is, a, is that's a common. That's a common? Yeah, that's a common. What about Make Way for the Beggars? That's what this one's called. <laughs> Here. Whatever that means. Oh, I got Azim. Azim! Azim prays Aww. by night. Here, I want to find at least one Robin Hood. Well, look at all these packs. What? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I used to have Barbie cards. I wonder if those are worth a lot. No. Mm, they might be. Oh I'm God. here for Pokemon cards, Eli. I don't care about they your They might actually cards. be worth money. Well, <gasps> better get it's probably all your mom. Money. Yeah. Ooh. I doubt it. It's like, oh, Barbie. How many How many what? options are There's, there? Barbie. They're really sick cards. I'm like this ugly. Yeah, these are disgusting. and I don't know why. What is this design of the red and green? And like, why don't they change colors? They're all the same. I think I damaged the corner. All right, where's Robin Hood? Come on, you fuckers. A hero's death. Who's this asshole? When since when was? What's his name? Christopher Columbus. I think that might be Pikachu. <laughs> That's not Pikachu, Ian. <laughs> this is uh. What's his name? You guys know his name. What's his name? Uh, uh, Christian uh, Slater. Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Oh. Why is Christian Slater in this Pokemon pack? <laughs> Hatch a plan. Got it. Face of terror. Oh. The evil guy? You got to show It me. literally says the evil guy. The evil guy. The evil right. guy. <laughs> Read it. Guy. It says the evil guy. Oh, maybe, yeah, what's maybe the guy problem? is it's an evil name. guy. Well, whatever. I don't have time. Watch a demon die. <laughs> All right. Look, okay. I mean, maybe it's just a collection of misprints, which would be very rare. But uh-huh. we do have two boxes. So Ian, okay. you know these aren't misprints. These are Robin Hood prints of Thief packs. All right. Let's check the other box. <sighs> Yeah, just check the other box. Here, Ethan. Okay, this doesn't look much better. I'm going to just say that out right now. I think the packaging looks way cleaner on this one. You think so? Mm. Yeah, Yeah. I got a good feeling. It says first edition, limited printing. Mm -hmm. It's a little distorted. Okay, let's open it up carefully. It's like it was printed and stretched in Photoshop or something. (laughs) That might just be because it's old. You know, right, distorts right. Oh, age. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, is, right. it is pretty old. Right. It's kind of falling apart, too. Looks legit. Got to catch them all. Go ahead, show that. Got to catch them all. All right. Yeah, that looks real. Okay, this one was 250 Please don't fuck me again. Ian, this is not Pokemon. Desert Storm? Whoa. Like the invasion of Iraq? Dan, uh, uh, invasion of what? <laughs> Ian, what is of this? Iraq. Desert Storm trading cards? <laughs> Coalition for Peace? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> uh. Is this a, you can tell me this is a misprint. Um, hold on, I gotta make some calls. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call the bank and cancel the um No, the I, g- I gave him I mean, mm. I'm going to have to do something cuz I gave he I gave him a check for half a million dollars. <laughs> that he gave it to the Pokémon pimp. Um I'm, I'm he already cashed it like last night. I saw the money exit our bank. Uh. He's going to really try to tell me this is a misprint. Here, show me opening this. Why is there Desert Storm trading cards? Isn't that weird like glorifying war? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> it's like, a, what is this? It's not even a complete image. <laughs> what is that? Is this the back? Oh, it's like a sticker, but it's just a piece of an image. <laughs> hmm. All right, guys, you get get excited. 
Oh, you're like a Chinook. That's a Chinook. That's a Chinook. <laughs> you think this is a rare? The Chinook? <laughs> you gotta say, they look a lot more Machine cool. gun ready. This is kind of sick. Like, why are we <laughs> have war trading cards? This is some dystopian shit, isn't it? <laughs> I'm hoping for George Bush Sr. <laughs> Saddam Hussein is the Mewtwo. <laughs> Saddam in a hole <laughs> is a trap card. Heat storm in the Gulf. What the fuck? Who's doing what? Oh, I did get a oh. player card. Here we go. Who's that? Chief of Staff. <laughs> General Charles Gabriel, Chief of Staff. Oh, Can you look right. up if this has any value? I AB? hope you find a Schwarzkopf. He, he was the big man. Hmm. Is this worth anything? This is General Charles Gabriel, Chief of Staff. Oh, US let me Air let Force. me check it out on the uh, on the on the auction sites. <laughs> oh, Scud Missile. Ian, did you get a hold of this guy? Because these are not Pokemon cards. This is a Scud Missile. <laughs> uh, I'm having a, a little trouble getting through Pokey Pimp. Bad boy, bad boy. I'll, 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 treat, I'll keep trying. A, yeah, it sounds like you should just try again. No. Can you stop payment on a check that's already been cashed? Hmm. How much is a tough. How much is a Scud missile worth, AB? Uh, two dollars. I'm actually seeing two dollars. Really? Yeah, for some reason that one has more value. Hmm. The cheapest staff. F-15 fighter plane. Whoa. Is that a rare? Can I get some value check on this, please? F-15. I mean, that's a good plane. Moving in, baby. Oh shit! Let's kill some Iraqis. <laughs> now you're living. Hey, can you say that? I don't know. That's what it was, though, right? They were killing Iraqis. Uh, well, that is what Operation Desert Storm was. <laughs> I mean, I'm not condoning. I'm just saying that's what moving in means. They're like, let's go fucking, let's go get it done. Moving in. Here, I'll read you the, the yeah caption. Yeah. Formation and carriers of planes. Shown here, a carrier ship with its escort ships and planes travel in breathtaking formation across the ocean. The planes take off for their mission from a runway. Although things appear quiet, servicemen are constantly monitoring all systems within the ship. Moving in, baby. Damn. I like the use of breathtaking. I know, these people are like such weird military fetishes. I want to find a rack in a hole. Let's see. I feel like that one's going to be worth something. Can I, I mean, Saddam and Ole. Saddam and Ole, yeah. yeah. As long as you're wearing gloves. Well, Saddam yeah, and Ole, well, hold on. That yeah, was yeah, the yeah, I know. That's the wrong invasion. war, but... Yeah, right. What's with the fun. first one being a complete random cut of I think nothing. it's... Here, here's my one I got. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, but they all come with, like... I guess it's a big... Maybe together they put to piece them an together? image. Right. Man. Okay, I'm having a good feeling about this pack. Canadian Air Force... What about anti-aircraft chemical gear? Chemical gear, interesting. Oh, huh. well, chemical warfare? That's got to be worth something. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Patriot giant? Control Center? That's good. They love their country. <gasps> Is, Is that, that a Colin Powell? Is that a young Colin Powell? <laughs> General Colin Powell rookie card. <laughs> this is. <laughs> This was the very early years of his war crimin uh, criminality. Yeah, this was before dude. he was wanted by this the is, world by like uh, this, for war crimes. This is pre Secretary of State. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know uh, if he's a war criminal or not, but probably. Oh, he definitely is. Yeah. That the one is four dollars. Four oh. bucks. Oh, now we're talking. I'm almost forgetting that Ian wasted two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Maybe by the end of this, I'll only be out. I mean, a Colin Powell rookie, though. I mean. That's pretty Dude, that's cool. hype. That's, that's pretty <laughs> cool. Oh, no! Is that... Oh, is that you Cheney? guys! <laughs> that is a Dick Cheney rookie. That's, that's pre-VP. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's pre-VP, of course. That's pre, I don't know if that might be pre-Halliburton. Secretary it of Defense. It is pre-Halliburton. Oh, shit, look it what is I got. Halliburton. Dude, I got to send this in for rating. Can I show you We this? have to get this rated and sell it and auction it on Logan's Ball. Definitely. Show, yeah, show me. Wings over Egypt? Sick. What? It's like we oh, we could have bombed the pyramids, but we didn't. <laughs> Yo, we had to let them know that we could. Do you get a, Can I get a price check on this Dick Cheney? Dick Whoa. Cheney is $3. Oh, shit, bro. Hold <laughs> on. We, got, we have to send these in to get rated. Look at this rated. one. You ready, Dan? Show me. Wearing the gas mask. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. <laughs> Yo, I've got, I, okay, we have all of our great font, like our premium first editions or whatever. 
right. here. We're going to send all these in to get rated for sure. <laughs> and then, like, you set the value, right? So I feel like if we get these rated and put them on the auction site and the whole, like, premium package and the rating and stuff, then I feel like we could fetch a nice... Are you including this return. one in there? No, no. We could recruit Robin. <laughs> A plan is hatched. Okay, let's get this one right. Let me check the corners. Oh, pretty good corners. <laughs> the Dick Cheney oh, yeah. card is the funniest thing I've ever seen. So wait, we're going to do Robin Hood play hatches a plan as well. By accident, I looked up Dick Cheney rookie card when I was searching the price for some reason. Yo, I'm going to see if we have a George Bush Sr. in here because that would probably Dude, that, be really I mean, valuable. we're kind of hot right now. Like, we're on a streak. Let's see. Here. Let's, did uh, Did... Uh, any of the crew auction, uh, purchase a pack, pre-purchase, like auctioned out? Purchase, Ian, you fucking, I'm down half a million dollars. What are you talking about I purchasing? Th- you owe me money, dude. This mm. is so random. Night vision goggles. <laughs> that was, it's a trap card. It's great. Oh, who's this? I'm getting duplicates already. Yo, who's this? General Richard G. Graves. Oh, that's a that's a third tier general. That's Don't worry about it. Richard, him. put him in the graves. <laughs> Let me know when you get a Schwarzkopf. That's that's the that's the big boy. Okay, I'm I'm actually I'm pretty I'm rarely psyched on this. Do you want me to open one of these for you guys? So it's kind of exciting. yeah I, I would yeah I would definitely love to get. All right, this on one's this. for you, Dan. Sweet. Come on, Georgie. Okay, come on, Dan. Come on, Poppy. Show the okay. So Poppy we have Bush. Manning the M110. Uh huh. Phoenix missiles. Oh, that's a good missile. <gasps> Oh shit! Sunset in the desert. Sunset in the desert. Oh, That's a weird and kind of thing. It's yeah, like really we don't know. own sunsets in the so desert. So far, this pack a little disappointing. <gasps> no! Oh! Yes! 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 So, <laughs> in this pack, I have this one too. You got no, wait, two beautiful. Come wait, we have two George Bush seniors. <laughs> Hold on, let me read his stats. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so jealous, Dan. I'm shaking. President I'm George I'm, I'm Bush. I'm literally shaking right now. Commander <laughs> in chief. United States president is the commander in chief of the armed forces. On January 16th, he initiated Operation Desert Storm and was supported by 27 other countries of NATO, mobilized to protect the sovereignty of Kuwait. Number one. You see that? Number one. Mm. I had a beat off. Oh my God. You guys ready for the value? Yeah, give it to yeah, me. Yeah, I'm ready. $30. Ooh. No! Are you Are serious? You me? <laughs> we have two of these. Okay. okay. Do you uh, feel like don't, that's don't blood money? Hold on. We gotta, are we going to get send both of these in to get rated? Let me you check definitely the, need to get those rated. The, see, this corner is not... This one might be... What? They're perfect. Please, what are you talking please. about? This one's got a little be curve careful, in the Ethan, corner. Ethan, please be careful. Look. <laughs> All right, we're going to get them both uh, verified. Wow, two commanders and chiefs. That is unbelievable. That's unbelievable. And basically, back to back. That's insane. That's like getting yeah. two Charizards. It's, I'd say it's better. All right. Wait, where did you see these for 30 bucks, AB? Huh? Uh, so I'm checking the same two sources, but I, the, that one was eBay, an eBay seller. Do you see that there's any hit? Does anyone actually buying these? <gasps> Mission accomplished. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's iconic. That's an iconic card. Mm, this one's going to get certified. Oh, um, my God. I got another oh one. God. Oh, com- another commander in no. chief? Uh, no. Three commanders no. in chief in one box? How rare could it be then? Uh, and that's, un- yeah. that's unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Holy oh, USS shit, dude. Midway. We, uh, oh, the we Midway. Were there. Yeah. Oh, another Scud missile. Nice. Nice. <laughs> careful. Careful. Another, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we got the commanders in chief. Yeah. So there's really not. We got three commanders in chief. <sighs> That's. All right. You got. Real. Does anyone want one? Wow, Dan. I can't believe you pulled the commander in chief. I, I am. I'm calling dibs on this pack. All right. This one's for right, Zach. This one's for Zach. Go ahead. Yep. F-18, flying high. Okay. Mm-hmm. Paratrooper in flight. Army supply ship. Airborne unit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of airborne in this pack. Should There should be a picture of like a cemetery, like falling in battle. <laughs> oh, my God. Like they just, glo- I mean, cemetery. if they're going to show the glory, you know what I mean? 
Like a revive card. Oh, yeah. yeah right, right, Injury right. card. Machine gunner. Amputee. Uh, this Ur- one is... Uranium uh, poisoning. PTSD, this one's called. <laughs> it shows a bunch Shell- of soldiers in a support group. <laughs> Shell shock. Yeah. Marine firefighter. And then there's the one after it shows third degree burns. What about his body. The, um, ayahuasca therapy? Nothing too good there. Ayahuasca therapy. Yeah, sorry, Zach. That was a little bit of a duck It's pack. okay. Who's it's this okay. one for? I mean, Ian, we were... you want a pack? Yeah, I'll take a pack. All okay, right. Well, you, well, you Finder's fee. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Sunset on the f- 14. Pretty romantic. What is that? Um, Admiral. Frank Kelso? Oh, that's that's oh. big. That's big. Is I mean, it's still, not a, it's still not a Schwarzkopf. Has this got any value? I've not, not heard of Admiral Frank Kelso. Oh, that, you Kelso? You never heard of Kelso? Uh-uh. I <laughs> love Dan knows everything about Desert well, Storm. He's, wor- he's worth three dollars. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no commander in chief. The control center. It's kind of funny. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's a nice card. Yeah. All right. That's it. Yeah. All right. This one's for you, AB. Thank you. Here we so go. You, you guys can never say we didn't do anything for you guys. AB, if, I swear to God, if you get a Schwarzkopf right now, <laughs> <laughs> the power of the tomahawk. That's got to be worth something. <laughs> it's just a picture of it detonating. Like somebody died in that photograph. Yeah. It's kind of fucked. F fourteen flies in formation. That's the that's the Top Gun uh, jet. That's a big deal. Flying mm. high. Zach got that one. Look, bullshit. Bullshit. <gasps> oh, is that is that what I think it is? <gasps> Schwarzkopf. Oh, bro. oh my god! Oh my fucking General god! Norman Schwarzkopf. <laughs> oh my god. Bro! You would think we set it up because then just said like A B, I'm gonna kill you if you get it. We did not. This is full. I mean, I can't be too mad. I got I got a poppy bush. I I I mean I should be happy, but that that that's an iconic card. That's an iconic card. We'll talk then. We'll we could you guys maybe a little trade. I mean we have all yeah, okay. Wow. This is exciting. I mean, we'll open these later, but look at all these. Show all these. We're gonna get all these raided. We're gonna send these in and get them all like boxed up. And if like if we can get pull some tens on these, <laughs> I think we can get some resale value on these. We got a long way to recoup. Rate any of but, these. Uh, you know, Robin gets yeah, the worst no, of them. I'm gonna rate the plan is hatched. You know, because it's got the cost in there. Mm-hmm. Or well, here this one's this one might be good with the Christian Slater as the hero's dad. Right. That's tragic. Nice corners. I'm kind of. I feel like we got to pull a a Robin Hood card if we're gonna send it it's, in to get raided. It's kind of shocking that we haven't. That's some bad luck. Here, I can't do. It. Let's pull. Let's let's pull a Robin Hood card real fast here. Let's just be careful of the corners though. Don't open it too fast, you know, because I want a perfect ten on these. You know. You mansplaining? No, I'm not mansplaining. I'm just telling you to be careful. These are valuable. Oh, I got another. I mean, Morgan that, Freeman. Uh, no, it's like no. In action. Escape. Can't see. Hold him out a little bit more. What this about just love like at first sight? Like, there's just descriptions. Oh, Azim. Okay, so I got Azim. Okay, there's Azim. That's kind of sick. Okay, I'll save the Azim. There's too many just descriptions. It's like fighting on a bridge. It's like, okay, I want Azim. Now you're living. <laughs> Hey. Okay, this is. These ones are rough. Another Azim. These Robin Hood men in tights ones. Maid Marion. Oh, that's a Maid Marion. Uh, that's a. Yeah, that one's good. That's a, that's a decently nice uh, corners card. too. Yeah. Is there a value? Can I get a value check on Maid Marion? I got someone. Show me. Oh yeah, I already have a hero's death. Okay. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, Working no. towards your debt, Ian, of half a million. <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Chipping away. Get in there. You just need half a million more made marriages. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, this is not going anywhere. These fucking Robin Hood cards suck ass. <gasps> what is this? It's nothing. Oh. What? Never pulled one of those before. These are by far the worst. I'm sorry. Another made Marion. Robin Hood. Why are you being so stingy with me, dude? Like, you really going to make it that rare for me? Nobody cares about your dumb fucking movie. Yeah, I'm getting nothing. Seriously? Yeah. What? This movie didn't even get good rating. Like, and you're going to make your cards so rare? Like, Kevin Costner? I'm sorry, bro. Attack from above. Safe at last. Battle for Nottingham. 
Like, hello. I want the cost. This is outrageous. Oh my 51 god. Fifty-one on Rotten Tomatoes. Fifty-one. How much? Fifty-one. That's no. That's generous. All right. All I need, I need like a little John, and I need a Robin Hood. Oh, that's true. We haven't gotten a little John yet either. I haven't even seen a man. Oh. Battling Little John. Wait, it's battling. No. Oh, that's a battle <laughs> card. That's not a character card. Spoils War. Bro, I can't do that. Oh! 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 I'm shaking. My hands are shaking, oh my God, Dan. Dude. Oh my Look God, at my dude. hands. Careful. They're careful. shaking, careful, 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 careful. dude. You gotta put it down. You gotta put it down. You're gonna, you're gonna damage the corners. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. Oh my on. God. I am shaking right now. Bro. That, bro. that is bro. like perfect corners. Bro. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. <laughs> oh, shit. Careful, careful. $500. Can How much? No. No. $500. No. no, I'm kidding. It's <laughs> Why would you joke like that, AB? <laughs> so well, wait till that. we get a 10 rating. Yeah, that's 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 unrated. Is the one you're looking at certified? So you don't know what you're talking about. Right. I'm sorry, you look so hurt. I'll Ke buy it from you. <laughs> Kevin Costner <laughs> follows his Oscar-winning success and dances with wolves. Why are they talking about dance? I'm trying. I'm trying to get in. Merge myself <laughs> and Robin. Why are they plugging, talking about dances? Plugging with wolves? another better movie in these cards. One of America's most admired leading men, Costner appeared in such hits as Waterworld. Sorry, sure, it's showing on something. Um. Wait, it lists Waterworld? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of oh, one of the terrible movies he's made. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is exciting. Okay, so we're gonna get all these rated. You guys agree with this collection? I love it. Yeah, I mean that that's definitely the best of the day that we've got here. What a poll. That was pretty good, man. Okay, guys. So we're so I'm gonna give these I guess Dan, you'll take these and get them cinnamon to get rated. <clears throat> yeah. Um okay. and and I mean, I know it's disappointing that we didn't get the Pokemon cards, but I got to say, a Colin Powell, a Dick Cheney, a Schwarzkopf, and three <laughs> Commander in Chiefs. So hold on, wait. We got a, we got a Bush, a Colin, and a Dick. <laughs> a. So I think we have the Pokey. Now. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the pimp and apology. Joke. What Ian? What? I think we owe the Pokey pimp an apology. We the pokey pimp fuck me in the ass. Owe him an apology? You owe me an apology for this bull. I'm trying to make the best of this situation, but I'm out half a million dollars. There's you get that pokey bitch on the phone. He also gave us another present too, as a token of uh, good business. Where? It's behind you. Oh, it's wrapped oh. up. Oh, what the hell is that? He said, as as a thank you for for a successful transaction. It says Pokey Pack Mystery Box. Very rare. Is that a... Is that a really? Look, there's a Pikachu. It's literally uh -huh. drawn with a Sharpie, so... It's kind of cute. Okay, what is this? Joe Biden. He told me it's a Pokemon sort of thank you. Very valuable. He stressed that a lot. I think he would wrap it a little more secure. Mm. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that looks legit. <laughs> is this first edition? Oh, wow. It's Wait, really but... interesting printing on this one. Oh, ah, shit. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry trading cards. Those are the real Pokemon. Whoa. <clears throat> those are cool. Yeah, those, those are actually uh, Pokemon, I believe. Like I didn't know that Tom and Jerry were part of the Pokemon it? universe. Of course. Is the overhead? <laughs> Here. Let's see. Let's go to the overhead. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful. We're getting these rated. I seriously want these to be tens. Hold on. Let me. Arr. These need to be rate good. These are important. Are you already so taking joking? more care Why are you so serious? Dude, what are you talking about? These are, we need to rate these Those a 10. Gonna rated. I'm going to get these rated and sell them. If Logan could get them rated 10, touching them with the bear. I'm hands. not kidding. I want to get those rated. We have to get 10 of them. Okay. I want PSA to give us a special H3H3. H3 yeah, I want to get a sticker unboxing. Oh, these are actually cool. Now you're living. I'm keeping these. Oh, there's no details. It's just a frame. 
Uh, Where are the stats? There's some stats on the back. How much health is on this cat? Yeah, how much? In the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, that's an iconic episode, dude. Oh. <laughs> where he you th- can pull a holographic Tom? Yeah. Can I pull a holographic Tom? I'm here live. That's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, is there holograms in here? <clears throat> I didn't see any uh, foils on the... Um... Oh, it's got some. <gasps> Holy shit, bro. Is this it one foil? is, is it it foil? Was stuck. Oh. Yo. Can this, you see? Yo, this one is holographic, little, bro. It's got a little like oh, metallic yeah. thing. No way. Yeah. Oh, wait. What scene is that? Which one? No freaking yeah, what, what way, bro. What does it say? What does it say? You want me to read it? Yeah. What's the scene? It says, William Hanna studied to be a structural engineer while Joseph Berbera was in banking. The two met after being hired by MGM Studio and thus began one of the most successful partnerships in Hollywood history. Wow. Oh, that's a that's- Hanna-Barbera origin card? Yeah. Bro, this is... Oh. Okay. We might have to send this one to get rated. It's foil, so... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Cool. I guess that makes up for being scammed half a million dollars. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. All right. So I'm going to get these rated. We'll try to get like a H3 thing. And I, I think we should put them on the auction site for charity and just like mm. we can we can raise money and try to donate it. You're not trying to recoup your your losses here. You well, I'm going to sue that guy. Of course, I'm going to chase him to the ends of time. But <laughs> OK, just making the best of what we've got here. Gotcha. Okay. Well, Ian. You're fired. Yeah, you're, I, you're definitely fired. <laughs> I say we took a big win today. <laughs> <laughs> Love me, daddy. <laughs> All right. Today is Wednesday, so we'll see you on live uh, after dark. Get excited. Get hyped. We'll maybe be here on Friday live. <clears throat> Hell yeah. For a fun, light, drama-free episode. Ah, uh, gabish. All right, now, excuse me, I have to go eat, like, 20 Nutra systems. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.